Hey everyone, it's Philip at Scoring Notes. And today I'm going to show you one of the easiest upgrades that you can make to your mobile setup or even your main setup if in fact you work primarily on a laptop computer. And that's the addition of a second monitor. And these things have come way down in price. I'm talking specifically about a portable monitor. And the quality has gotten a lot better over the years. They've gotten lighter and the resolution has gotten much better. This one that I'm using is a 4K monitor. And I'm not necessarily endorsing a particular make or model so much as I'm just endorsing the concept of using this, really, if you do anything. But of course, we talk all about music notation software and related technology here. These things often connect using just one USB cable, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so the one that I'm using is manufactured by a company called KYY, and they have monitors that are both 4K and just regular HD. The reason I mentioned 4K is because the resolution is going to be much better if you're doing anything related to looking at text or really anything that requires a higher resolution like music. And the resolution on this is 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD 4K. It connects, like I said, via a single USB-C cable. I'll plug that in in a moment so you can see. It also connects via HDMI. If you connect via HDMI, you do need to power it separately. It does have a power adapter that you can plug in. But if you connect via USB-C and your laptop is also powered, then the laptop will actually provide enough power to both power the laptop and the monitor and send the video signal all at the same time. And that's what I've been doing, and it's been working great. So the way you do this is you basically just plug in one end of the USB-C cable to your laptop, and I'm on a MacBook Pro. And then we'll just stretch this around here. There are two USB-C ports. You can use either one. And you don't really need to do anything else. You just plug it in. And right away, as you see, the monitor powers up. And after really just a moment, you get a second display. And it's very crisp and clear. You see there's a little glare behind me. But basically, that's all you need to do. And if I am using, say, Logic and Sibelius or any other notation software at the same time, this is really helpful because what do you want to do? You want to often have your session on one monitor, say, and your Sibelius project on the other, and it makes it very easy to switch back and forth. Uh, the other really important way to use this, if you, even if you don't use a sequencer, is say you're working on a score and then you want to see the linked part at the same time. Of course, Finale, Dorico, Sibelius, MuseScore all have linked parts in the same file and you can view the score and parts separately. And you may not even realize this. In Sibelius, you just drag from the tab, creates a new window, and then boom, I can see my part in one monitor and the score in the other. And if I zoom in here, you can see it's actually really, really crisp and sharp. There's really no loss of resolution, even if you go in really, really sharp uh, on the uh, screen. Let's look at even a hairpin. Sometimes you can see jagged edges if you look at a hairpin, but even on that hairpin, it's really, really super smooth all the way in, which is, which is great. That's really all there is to it. There's a, a three and a half millimeter headphone jack on here, if uh, so, it can provide sound directly from the monitor. So, um, but usually you'd be using your laptop sound anyway, which also has the three and a half inch jack. There's a, a little toggle here, which you can, if I touch this, you can hit the volume. Um, if I, you know, hit it again, uh, you can do various other things like change the brightness, change the contrast, and so on. And you just push it in, and then you can toggle the brightness up and down like that. And really, I found it's probably not coming through great on this video, but the brightness is plenty sufficient for anything that you'd be using it for. 
when you're done working, you really don't need to do anything special. You just unplug the monitor and it powers off and you can fold it up like that and off you go. And then just to set it up again, you just open it up and it folds up like this. And that's kind of convenient. And I will reconnect it. And it powers up again. And you're back in business. Of course, you have to then get your second screen over again, but just like that. That's about it. So again, I think one of the easiest upgrades that you can make to your setup is to get a second display, especially if you're on a laptop. The weight, it's super light. It, as you can see, it basically is more or less the same size as a 15-inch MacBook Pro. It's not as heavy as it. You can drop both in your backpack and off you go. And as you saw on Amazon, this one goes for about $220. I think there's even a coupon that you can apply to get it close to the 200 mark. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you next time.